Hi guys, Mark Wood here, Director of Instruction at Chister Golf Academy and also World's Best Golf Destinations. And today I've got another great tip for you. And this is all about hitting the driver into the wind. Now I get asked quite a lot, you know, what should I be doing when it comes to hitting the ball into the wind? I don't want to be losing too much distance. Now with a driver, in an ideal world, you're going to be sort of hitting the golf ball at about two to three thousand, anywhere between two and three thousand revolutions per minute of backspin on the golf ball. Now, if you try and hit the ball harder because you're hitting into the wind, that can actually increase the spin on the ball. You know, the spin might jump up to 4,000, 5,000 revolutions per minute. So if you're hitting into the wind, that ball's climbing up and up and up, and it's just falling out of the sky a lot shorter than where your, your driver would normally end up. Now, another thing that I see a lot of golfers make the mistake of is they, they tee the ball too low. They start thinking, if I hit the ball lower off the club face, that's going to keep the ball lower and that's gonna penetrate it through the wind a bit more. That's where you're wrong. The lower you, tee, you, know, you hit the ball off the, off the club face, the more the spin increases on the ball again. So where you, ideally, where you're trying to hit the ball from, if we said the center of the club face is here, we wanna be up a little bit more. So the new sweet spot is very much up off the top of the club, not off the top edge of the club, just slightly underneath that, but that's where the sweet spot is, very much at the top of the club. So with that in mind, what I would like you to do is I'd like you to see the ball a little bit higher than what you would normally tee it with a driver. I want you to position the ball slightly further forward in the stance and I want you to tilt the, the shoulders away from the target a little bit. Now I just want you to now to make your normal swing, swing speed. Now if you can combine those and you get the ball out the right part of the club, that's gonna reduce the, the spin down a little bit and it's gonna penetrate through the wind a little bit more. So here we go, so I've got the ball forward in the stance I'm going to tilt my spine away from target a little bit and then from there I'm just going to hit up the ball with the normal swing speed and that's going to help me get the ball moving through the wind really nicely. Hope you enjoyed this little video tip. Please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to post your comments below. Let me know what you'd like me to video for you and also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's completely free and I really appreciate your support. Many thanks for watching.